Hi, welcome again friends, in today's guide we will learn, how to install and dual boot Phoenix Android OS alongside Windows 10, without losing any data, so watch the complete guide without skipping the video, and follow every steps carefully. This things are required to dual boot Phoenix OS. So the our first step is create a free space for the Phoenix OS. To create free space, simply right click on start menu. Now click on disk management. Now in disk management window will opened. Now, here you will have to find and select the partition, which has more free space available on it. In my case the E drive has more free space on it, so I am selected by clicking on it. Now right click on it. Now click on shrink volume. Now a new window will opened. Here we will have to enter desired size in MB format. In my case I am creating 10 GB free space for the Phoenix OS. You can enter your desired size. Here, 10240 MB equals to 10 GB. After entering size, click on shrink. As you can see here, our 10 GB free space has been created. Now close this window and follow the next steps. Now the our second step is, download the ISO file of Phoenix OS. To download the ISO file, simply open web browser, and search for the Phoenix OS download. Now, open the website, which is www.techspot.com. The reason behind downloading from this site is, it is provide direct download link, compare to Phoenix OS official site. Now, here click on ISO file Windows or Mac OS. Now wait for a few seconds, the download will start automatically. Now save this file. As you can see here, it is around 850 MB in size, after downloading follow the next steps. Now the our next step is, download the Rufus USB tool. To download Rufus, simply open your web browser, and search for the Rufus download. Now open this site, which is rufus.ie. After opening simply scroll down. Now click on Rufus 3.13. Now download the Rufus, and follow the next steps. For easy purpose I created this folder on the desktop and copied the files which we downloaded in earlier steps. Now, open the Rufus USB tool by double clicking on it. Now, here you will have to select the USB drive, so first verify it. Now as you can see here, in my case my USB drive label is Phoenix OS USB. Now in boot selection section, select disk or ISO image. Now click on select. And navigate to the location where you downloaded the Phoenix OS ISO file. Now select the ISO file. Now click on open. Now select the partition scheme on the basis of your system partition scheme. You can check partition scheme, by following these steps. To check partition scheme, right click on start menu. Now click on disk management. Now right click on disk zero. Now click on properties. Now click on Volumes. Now as you can see here, my partition style is GPT. So I select GPT and Rufus. Now don't do any changes in any other settings, 
leave as it is. Now click on start. Now in message box appeared, to select writing mode, here select write an ISO image mode recommended. Now click on OK. Now in warning message is appeared, which is saying all data is formatted on the selected drive. Now click on OK. Now the image writing process is started, it will take some time, so I am fast forwarding the steps to save your time. Now the image writing process is completed. Now close it and follow the next steps. Now restart your system to configure BIOS. When the system is restarting, press escape key continuously. Now the startup menu has appeared. Now press F10 key to configure BIOS. Now navigate the system configuration tab. Now find and select boot options, and then press enter key. Now find and select legacy support, and press enter key. Now select enable, and press enter key. Now select yes and press enter key. Now press F10 key to save changes. Now select yes and press enter key. When the system is booting, Press escape key continuously. In some cases, BIOS will ask for confirmation. To save changes you'll have to enter the keys which are shown in the confirmation message. In my case, the keys are 5597 plus enter key. In your case it will be different. Now we are booted into startup menu. Now press F9 key to select boot device options. Now find and select USB hard drive which has UEFI label. After selecting press enter key. Now the R system is booted into the Phoenix OS grub menu. Now select install Phoenix OS to hard disk and press enter key. Now the system is starting the Phoenix OS installer, so please be patience. Now select create modify partitions and press enter key. Now select hard disk and press enter key. It is asking do you want to use GPT, select yes and press enter key. Now the partition table has appeared on your system screen. Now here you will have to find and select the free space, which we created in earlier steps. In my case it is 10 GB, after selecting free space press enter key. Now it is asking to enter first sector, press enter key to leave it default. Remember here we are creating two partitions, so follow these steps carefully. The first partition is EFI partition. Now it is asking for size and sector, so enter size is 204800. Now press enter key. Now it is asking for hex code. Now type EF00. Now press enter key. Now it is asking for partition name, leave it blank and press enter key. As you can see here, 100 MBEFI partition is now created. Now find and select the free space again and press enter key. Now it is asking for first sector, leave it blank, and press enter key. Now it is asking size and sector, don't do any changes, simply press enter key. Now it is asking for hex code. Leave it blank, and press enter key. Now it is asking for partition name, leave it blank and press enter key. Most important step is, you have to note down partition number as well as partition type. This will be useful for reference in next steps. Now from the bottom menu select right, and press enter key. Now it is asking write changes to disk, type yes and press enter key. Now from the bottom menu, select quite and press enter key. Now here you will have to find the Linux file system partition by its partition name, which we note down in earlier steps.
In my case, the Linux file system is at ninth number, so I have to select SDA9. After selecting partition, press Enter key. Now here it is asking for file system, select ext4 and press Enter key. Now it is asking to format the partitions, select yes and press Enter key. Now the partition is formatting. Now it is asking to install EFI grub2, select yes and press enter key. Now here you'll have to select the EFI partition which we created in earlier steps, as you can see here, in my case the EFI partition is on 8 number, so I have to select SDA8. After selecting EFI partition press enter key. Now it is asking to format the boot partition, select yes and press enter key. Now it is asking to install grub bootloader. Select skip and press enter key. Now the Phoenix OS installation is started, it will take some time, so please be patient. Now it is syncing data to disk, so please be patient. Now the Phoenix OS is installed, select Phoenix OS or reboot, I am selecting reboot. When the system is booting, press escape key continuously to select boot options. Now press F9 key to select boot device options. Now find and select EFI hard drive, and press enter key. Now the system is booted into the Phoenix OS Grub menu. Now select Phoenix OS and press Enter key. Now the system is booting into the Phoenix OS. It will take some time for the first booting, so please be patient. Now the Phoenix OS system is initializing. This will take some time, so I am fast forwarding this steps to save your time. Now the Phoenix OS welcome screen has appeared. From here select English language, and then click on next. Now click on the Accept to Phoenix OS License Agreement. Now connect to an Wi-Fi network, and click on Next. Now enter username for the Phoenix OS user account. Now click on Finish. Now the system is loading, please wait for a few minutes. Now the Phoenix OS is installed successfully, if this video has becomes helpful for you then like and share this video, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel.